Today I'd like to show you how compliant onboarding can be a business enabler. But it's not just being compliant, it's about reducing risk overall. And it's also about getting closer to your customers, getting involved to grow their business and yours. We're setting out to significantly reduce your workload while actually improving how your customers perceive onboarding and ongoing dealings with the bank. But possibly the biggest positive impact will be getting from onboard to revenue within a couple of days instead of weeks or months. I'm going to give you a brief glimpse of the bank's and the customer's view of the system and then we'll take a look under the hood to see how it delivers. Let's get straight into it by adding a new customer. You'd usually spend quite some time adding information now, but I think we'd rather be doing something else. I'll just add enough information to identify our new customer and the person who contacted us to open the account. Ah, now this is interesting. The system already knows this company. In fact, two other Clarency clients have already onboarded them and they're willing to share their information for a small fee. If we want, we can ignore these and start a new verification, but it might save time to buy a ready validated information pack. You can choose whether or not to share your own information, set your own resale prices and control whether a buyer can resell the information. In this case, Lloyd's looks like a good bet. Let's see what information they have. This is company information, so it doesn't fall under GDPR regulations. But as you'll see, we still ask for permission before sharing just as a matter of courtesy. Personal information, which is covered by GDPR, is treated similarly to ensure we are honouring people's right to privacy. Uh, this pack contains all the information we're looking for. I'll buy it. Let's have a look at what happens next. Has Export applied to the bank and we set up a skeleton project. The platform sends a fully branded email to Mr Jamshidi, inviting him to set up his account. This email is completely tailorable to your requirements and we recommend that you set up a valid bank email address for it to be sent from. When Mr Jamshidi follows the login link to his customer portal, the first thing he sees is the request to release the information held by Lloyds. He's likely to agree as it saves him the bother of re-entering all of the details and you'll receive an automatic alert of his decision. Notice that the portal is branded to match your own presentation style. He'll upload the statutory documents you request using his webcam or phone camera. And you can also specify additional levels of security such as geolocation or video selfies to detect fake identities. And these documents are automatically verified to pick up forged or altered passports, multiple identities and other such deceptions. You'll remember that we spent no more than a couple of minutes setting up the Has Export account. Well, now we're saving time for the customer by pre-filling details from the information we gain from the shared data. And any documents that have expired or don't meet legibility criteria are automatically detected and flagged for re-upload. OK, so let's go behind the scenes again to see the flow developing. We've seen that verifiable documents like passports, driving licences and so on are automatically validated, forgeries are detected, as are expired documents or blurred information. The results are fed back to you and any required actions are automatically sent to the right parties. The gathered information is screened against a range of authoritative lists to filter out the non-starters. There's no point wasting a risk officer's time looking at a customer whom you can't deal with. All of the results are gathered and reported back to you. That gathered information is immutably stored in a blockchain-enabled ledger. Your portal has an access code to view it, but our lock prevents you or anyone else changing it. When you receive it in your portal, it's locked again using your private key. Now, no one can change it. Ever. This interlock means that the data's integrity is completely guaranteed if ever a regulator needs to examine it. You can see here that we've created a new umbrella project for Has Export Management. This will hold all of our future dealings with the company, but for now it just contains the onboarding risk assessment. Projects let you group information in a way that makes sense to you. I'd always suggest making an onboarding project for a new customer. It allows you to gather all of the information the MLRO needs to make a rapid and accurate decision. This all looks complete, so I'll send it to the money laundering reporting officer. 
When I clicked Send to MLRO, all of the relevant data was gathered into a well-visualised, logically assembled information pack and sent to the risk officer. They can then make a fast, accurate decision and send a one-click response to the platform. A new block is added to the ledger chain and you're alerted to the result and, once again, it's double interlocked. If everything is as it should be, transactions can begin. When you execute your decision to accept, a new block with that decision is locked with your key. You can see that we're not just building an information bank, we're creating a full recording of the whole onboarding process. And in fact, as you'll see next, we're actually doing more than that. This is the risk officer's view, and we can see that there's an outstanding action under House Export Management, so I'll click on it. And here are the results. The information supplied by the new customer has been blended with the searches carried out automatically. It's all been assembled into a single view and risk scores using your criteria have been applied. The risk score here is a tad on the high side, largely because has exports deal with Iraq. Let's see where else they operate. Yeah, it's definitely Iraq that's the problem here. Qatar is just inside this bank's risk appetite, so the customer could be acceptable if Iraq were excluded. So let's do that. That's looking better. Our highest regional risk now is a 5, bringing the total down to 18. Down here we're also seeing that there's a politically exposed person involved. I can drill into every piece of information that's been gathered, so let's have a look why Anthony Taylor is showing a PEP alert. Here are the documents we hold for Mr Taylor and I can open up any of them. You can see the caution flag on his entity certificate. Let's have a look at that. And here it is, Anthony Roderick Sampson Taylor. Uh, and he's not Mr. Taylor, he's Baron Sampson of Hamleth. Scrolling down, I can see that Lord Anthony is an active member of the House of Lords. Should I be concerned? Well, that decision, of course, is up to you, but I can see that he's a non-exec, owns no shares, and that there are no adverse media appearances. This may well be an acceptable level of exposure. Back in our flow diagram, we now have you being able to access all of the KYC information, as well as produce on demand an immutable record to prove compliance. So now transactions can begin. And with conventional onboarding, this is where things can go wrong over time. Has exports some oil and receives a payment. For simplicity, we'll ignore correspondence and forex. For every transaction, there'll be shipping documentation, an invoice, an entry in accounts, and a payment. To release payment, HAS needs to enter these items into the system. The shipping docs and invoice can be uploaded simply enough. But ideally, we'd like something more provable. The platform interfaces with many ERP systems, as well as popular SME accounting systems such as QuickBooks, Xero, and Sage. And this gives the ability to automatically collect and reconcile the accounts and bank payments. The values can be checked for agreement and rationality. And every transaction is added to the blockchain history and mutually locked. Not only that, but the system checks that all of the supporting documentation is still current and valid. And if anything is outside set limits, full information automatically goes to the risk officer for a further decision. As always, everyone is updated, and the ledger is updated and once again locked. Not only are we re-onboarding every single transaction, not only are we giving living diligence to what we're doing, we've also created a secure, accurate and unquestionable audit trail that doesn't just show the information on which we based our onboarding, it actually shows every stage, every piece of information, and every decision involved in the process itself. What we're seeing here is a compliance powerhouse, but it's a great deal more than that. We're making it possible for onboarding to become a same-day process. Your bank enters a few outline details, and the rest happens by itself. Your customer's onboarding experience is simple, pleasant, and involving. Your risk officers can make accurate, informed decisions in minutes, saving thousands on every new customer acquisition. 
Every transaction is automatically monitored and recorded, ensuring your accounts stay compliant. And you can stay in touch with your customer's business for the positive developments too. And if something out of the ordinary does crop up, SARs can be prepared and submitted in minutes. And the information in those reports is complete and its integrity is unquestionable. And your new customers become revenue earners in a fraction of the time, at a fraction of the cost it takes now. If you take compliance to the next level, you unleash a whole world of possibilities for your business. Welcome to the Global Business Engine. <music>